Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today we'll be discussing about the maintenance of paint protection film, also known as PPF or clear bra, basically that transparent film that is applied over your vehicle's paintwork to protect it against stone chips, rock chips, swirls, scratches, so on and so forth. A paint protection film does a lot of good stuff, but over time uh, it can get dull, it can oxidize, some of them sometimes yellow, right? Get that yellow tint, uh, or it can accumulate contamination as well. So you need to perform some steps and regular maintenance in order to preserve it and keeping looking at its best and performing its best. So we're going to look into uh, a full suite of products today in order for you guys to maintain your PPF. You're going to see just how simple it is. Uh, by the way, quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just sharing my tips and tricks over 27, uh, 26 years at this point of uh, enjoying detailing vehicles. And by the way, I'll leave links to all the uh, products, tools, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So first of all, uh, when you get your vehicle wrapped with PPF, it is important that you maintain it as quickly as you take delivery. So a lot of PPF, well, they have the great properties, right? Again, again protection uh, against stone chips, rock chips. Uh, some of them have UV protection. Some have self-healing properties nowadays, uh, meaning if you get some light swirls or scratches with UV reaction or with heat, uh, they can kind of uh, blend those scratches and swirls and kind of restore a perfect finish. Uh, but that's for another video. But basically, PPF alone isn't enough. I would highly recommend that you apply a ceramic coating on top to get the properties of ceramic coatings, which are added gloss, slickness, chemical resistance. You get more UV protection. You get the hydrophobic properties and especially the self-cleaning properties. Uh, that doesn't mean that the vehicle cleans itself. It just means that the vehicle is a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. So by the way, I have a full tutorial on how to apply a ceramic coating on top of PPF. I'll leave that linked in the description so you guys can check that video out. It's super simple. Uh, but basically nowadays, uh, there are many ceramic coatings, traditional paint coatings that you can apply on PPF as well if you want to do so. Uh, check of course with the manufacturer first to see if it's compatible. Uh, but note that the majority of the top tier coating brands have developed PPF specific coatings. For example, uh, G-Technic from the UK have the Halo coating that is specifically designed for PPF. They're usually more flexible and bond to a PPF surface a lot better because they're created for that purpose. Uh, there's CarPro from South Korea that came out with their CarPro Skin PPF coating. Uh, PPF, and by the way, everything I say also applies to vinyl wraps, by the way. So you can apply the uh, tips, tricks, even the products uh, to both types of products. Uh, and there is Gion also from South Korea. They have their uh, PPF uh, super hydrophobic coating. This is the new uh, Evo version, by the way. Their new Evo lineup of coatings is more user-friendly. They can also be applied outside. Of course, don't try and avoid direct sunlight when you're applying these products. Work in the shade uh, or in a garage, ideally, on a uh, cool surface if you want to have the best user experience. So, these coatings, again, are more flexible. They're made uh, specifically for PPF application and typically they'll last anywhere from one to two years uh, or roughly in the 30,000 uh, kilometer range or 18,640 miles, kind of in that vicinity because of course the uh, coating durability always depends on multiple factors including uh, the conditions that you live in, uh, the maintenance that you're giving the coating, uh, also the, the amount of mileage that you do in a year, so on and so forth. But you can typically expect uh, one to two years of durability out of the PPF coatings. So the um, Gion Evo specifically has chemical resistance that it will provide to your PPF. So this one here resists uh, chemicals range, uh, ranging from pH 2 all the way up to pH 11. Uh, gives you crazy hydrophobic properties, of course, those self-cleaning properties that we all appreciate, uh, and just a bunch of cool things. It's a one-layer coating uh, like the other two as well. So very easy to apply. Again, can be applied to PPF uh, or vinyl wraps. Uh, this one here comes in a, I think this is a 50 mil, yeah. So 50 mil bottle or 1.7 fluid ounces. And 
The uh, other two, you can get them in different sizes. The uh, CarPro here is another 50 mil bottle. And I think the uh, G-Technic Halo is a 30 mil uh, bottle for this one. But again, they have different sizes. I'll link those in the description. So of course, you would prep uh, the entire vehicle by washing, doing the decon that you necessarily need for that. It can be a tar remover, an iron remover, because yes, you can use chemical decon. More on that later in the video, as long as you're very careful. Um, you're gonna do an IPA wipe of the surface after you're done polishing, because yes, you can also polish PPF. Uh, again, we're gonna have more on that later in the video. Um, and then when you're done polishing, you're going to use a paint prep or an IPA spray, in this case, something like Gion Prep or CarPro Eraser. So to remove all the polishing oils to ensure proper bonding of the coating, you're gonna apply the coating following the manufacturer's instructions. Uh, and that's it, follow the curing time as well. Don't expose it to water or rain for typically it's anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. And uh, then the vehicle is good to go and it's gonna be super easy to maintain. So as this vehicle is, uh, as this video I mean, uh, is focused on um, uh, PPF maintenance, what are the steps that you can do to maintain the performance of the coating that you applied on the uh, the PPF uh, over time, or even your PPF, uh, if you don't apply any coating on it, what do you do uh, to keep it um, operating at its top peak performance and looking great, right? Because you want that gloss, you want that slick feel, just like you would with traditional paintwork. So one of the ways, we're gonna have a bunch of products that we're gonna talk about, but the first one is a shampoo, right? So you can use a typical pH neutral car shampoo, uh, something like this, Gion Bathe, has been featured in one of my recent videos on the best car shampoos. Uh, you can also use CarPro Eraser, one of my uh, favorite car shampoos, as you guys know. Uh, or Gion developed something specifically for PPF, and it is called Gion PPF Wash. So you're going to ask me, uh, what's different about this compared to anything else? Well, this one here contains a bit of iron removing technology built in, because yes, uh, PPF still accumulates contamination over time, including industrial fallout, um, uh, brake dust, rail dust, all that stuff, and it gets embedded into the PPF, just like it would in the clear coat of your vehicle and you need to remove that if you don't want those orange rust spots forming right and uh, you got to get rid of that contamination. So for your regular washes, um, once every two weeks perhaps or weekly if you want to, uh, you can either use again a pH neutral, but if you want to bump it up a notch and also help to restore a bit of the hydrophobic properties uh, of your coating, if you apply the coating, I would recommend the PPF wash. Again, it has an iron remover uh, built in, uh, a bit of uh, heavier degreasing capabilities as well. So Gion PPF wash specifically developed for that purpose. So you would work in the shade. Um, ideally with the Gion PPF wash, you would use warm water. So you would add just 30 mils or about an ounce in a 15 liter or four gallon uh, sized bucket. So four gallons of water, you mix that up and you're good to go. So you're not using a lot really. Uh, and once you are done, make sure you thoroughly rinse and dry the vehicle. So once the vehicle is fully dried, what more can you do? So you can pick up the residual water droplets because there's always a bit of water left, right? Uh, so you would need a quick detail spray, right? Well, Gion has also thought of you guys. So this is uh, PPF Maintain from Gion. So let me show you the uh, label here. So they developed this specifically uh, as a maintenance product on top of PPF. It's an SiO2 based spray or silica if you want. Basically the same technology that they have in ceramic coatings, just in a lighter form, in a spray form. Uh, very easy to use. So it's made to improve the hydrophobic properties uh, of your PPF's coating or your PPF if you use it as a standalone. It's going to add a bit of uh, UV protection as well. You can use it on PPF or vinyl wraps, and it can be used on matte PPF as well. So glossy or matte surfaces, it doesn't matter. And you can just spray that on, wipe with your microfiber towel, uh, and you're done. And or you can use it as a drying aid. So you're done washing your car, you rinsed it down once uh, while it's still wet. You can spray this on the surface and use a microfiber drying towel. This will act as a lubricant or as a buffer if you want between the PPF and and the towel, hence reducing the chances of scratching and marring uh, your PPF on there. 
So uh, with this, you should easily get a, a few weeks of uh, durability. If you guys have used this on uh, PPF and have measured the durability, uh, kindly let me know in the description under the video what's the uh, typical durability you get and where you live so people can have an idea of the conditions where you live in. Uh, but you can expect, I guess, anywhere from three to four weeks uh, most likely of this. It's something you would use more regularly because it's made to be used as a quick detail spray uh, for PPF. But uh, yeah, and this is, by the way, with their new sprayers with the G logo. There's no metal parts in there and they have a fine uh, atom mist so great improvement on their triggers so what else can you do on PPF so we talked about chemical decontamination so when you're done washing your vehicle what you can do is also use chemical decon so for example if you have some tar deposits uh, or some glue residue something like that from a sticker perhaps or a logo or something um, well you would use a tar remover of course like this one here Gion tar you can use CarPro tar x whatever tar remover you want uh, but you got to be more careful with tar removers on PPF do not work in direct sunlight don't work on a hot surface uh, and instead of spraying this liberally on the vehicle uh, what is recommended is to spray this on a microfiber towel and you gently wipe the areas where you see some tar deposits you're gonna let that dwell just a few seconds you're gonna thoroughly rinse off and that's it the light agitation with a towel should be enough to dislodge those particles Another uh, chemical decon step that you can do on PPF is use an iron remover. So like uh, CarPro Iron X, for example, or Gion Iron, just for simplicity in this video, I'm keeping it all within the same uh, family to not have a thousand products on the table, but you get the gist. Uh, you can use whatever iron remover you want. Again, work in the shade. Uh, you're going to work on a cool surface. You're going to spray this on, let it dwell for the recommended amount of time. So in the case of uh, Gion Iron, it's typically a few minutes, yeah, two to four minutes until the product changes its color. So when it reacts, you spray this on, it's transparent. When it reacts with the iron particles or iron deposits, it changes to a red purple tint, indicated that the chemical reaction is done and you can rinse away. Make sure to thoroughly uh, rinse the surface and that's it. You're going to decon. So you have two choices for the iron removal, right? You have the uh, shampoo, PPF wash it has iron removing capabilities built in this is a lighter form of an iron remover and if you want heavier duty if you have heavy brake dust contamination or a lot of rail dust where you live uh, you would use a dedicated iron remover for increased efficiency uh, by the way the majority of the iron removers from quality companies are pH neutral inside the bottle. They only become slightly acidic uh, on the pH scale when they actually have their reaction done. It's an exothermic reaction. Uh, so, but yeah, in this here, it's pH neutral. So these are very, very safe as long as you're smart. You never let these dry on the surface, by the way. Uh, and yeah, again, don't work in direct sunlight and work on a cool surface. So you did the chemical decontamination. If the PPF itself uh, still feels a bit rough, there might be some more contamination in there uh, or there's some dullness to it. It kind of lost its pop and shine and gloss uh, or perhaps it started to yellow and oxidize and you want to restore the clarity and the transparency and again, increase the gloss and all that stuff. You can polish PPF. Uh, so I, of course, so always test an inconspicuous areas first and of course make sure you test some different polishing pads start with perhaps lighter polishing pads you don't want to be too heavy and abrade the surface too heavily because um, you're also don't forget when you're polishing the surface if you have a coating you're going to be removing the coating uh, due to the polish but also the mechanical abrasion from the polishing pad itself so you're going to have to recoat the ppf afterwards if you decide to polish um, but yeah so if you do just use common sense uh, and well note that there also some PPF specific polishes and again Gion has a full lineup as you can tell of products I just love that company uh, they're out of South Korea but they've always produced top top notch uh, products like all the top tier coating brands right so Gion CarPro G-Technic typically those are like the trifecta of uh, companies that produce amazing ceramic coatings and all the maintenance products that you need as well so the polish they came out with a few years ago at this point is called Gion PPF Renew. So if we look at the claims on the bottle itself on the side, it's going to clean and revive the glossy effect of your PPF. Uh, all PPF types, by the way, right? Regular PPF as well as self-healing PPF. Uh, so it's a one-step silica polish and renewer. So it means there's a bit of SiO2 in there for durability. Uh, so you can expect between six to eight months of protection with this. Uh, it's gonna add gloss and depth. It's gonna restore the smoothness 
surface of the film. It's going to remove light marks and hazing and leaves behind a slick silica-based protective layer. So these are their claims. The cool thing about this, it contains no silicones, it has no fillers, and it's a low dusting product. So they recommend to use this with a polisher on low speed to start off and a soft polishing or finishing pad. You can change the aggression level, right? If you want to remove some light marring, slight swirls or light scratches, uh, you can um, use a, a polishing pad with a bit more cut, uh, but be careful. There are limitations though, right? If your, um, uh, your coating is beyond repair, uh, if it's heavily scratched, if it has pitting, if it has uh, etching from, bud, uh, from bug guts that have been left on there for too long and have etched uh, through the, um, the film itself, or if you have water spots that have etched through the finish because they were left unattended for a long time. That acidic content of those minerals started eating away at the PPF or even at your clear coat if you don't have any PPF. Um, well, Renew won't renew that. So there are limits to what polishes can do, guys. Uh, but yeah, so you would use this and this is going to help clean up that surface, give that super, super slick finish. It's going to give that super glossy effect and that depth right of that finish that we're looking for. Basically clean everything up thanks to a bit of mechanical abrasion in the, uh, the polish itself. It has very light abrasives in there and the SiO2 on its own uh, gives a little bit um, of the uh, the UV protection and chemical resistance in there, but on its own, it is not super hydrophobic. Hence why once you're done using this, you have buffed it off, you're ready to apply a topper. So Gion themselves recommend two types, either their longer lasting uh, PPF Evo coating, this is designed specifically uh, for PPF and can be used on vinyl wraps. So one to two years of protection with this, uh, or they claim uh, 30,000 kilometers or just shy of 19,000 miles and pH 2 to 11 resistance. Uh, or if you want something quicker uh, to apply in a spray form, they have the amazing can coat Evo. This is the evolution of the uh, previous uh, regular can coat. That one lasted five to six months. This one here, you can expect 10 to 12 months of protection. Uh, this here, crazy water beating, it has the UV, it has the gloss, it has all the attributes that you want just in a quicker spray on form. You spray on, you wipe off, and that is it. Uh, in a matter of a few minutes, you protected your vehicle. You're gonna get great chemical resistance as well. So see this as a coating light application for those who want a quicker application. So you would apply this after polishing with PPF Renew. Or of course, again, if you want that longer lasting protection, you would apply the PPF uh, ceramic coating on top. So uh, yeah, when you're done polishing, you can apply one of these two protections. This is what you're going to have for your long-term protection, right? Uh, this bottle here is a 60 mil bottle, sorry, 120 mils uh, in this one or four ounces. You can get bigger sizes. So if you're just a DIYer, uh, typically for a vehicle, Gion says you'll need anywhere from uh, 50 to 60 mils. So half a bottle. So with one bottle, you could technically uh, polish two average sized cars. Of course, if you're a professional detail, and you do this day in and day out, you're going to want to get their bigger sized formats. Uh, but yeah, this one here should be more and more than enough for at least uh, one average size or full size vehicle. If you're um, doing your work correctly and uh, you're, uh, you don't exaggerate on the use, you can expect up to two average sized cars. We basically went over the entire the first application of your coating, then the maintenance with the PPF wash and the shampoo to remove a bit of iron contamination, restore the hydrophobic properties, degrease the surface correctly. Then the uh, PPF maintain basically kind of like a spray maintenance or a silica maintenance product, just like you would have on a ceramic coating traditionally, right? Every two to three months, it's recommended to apply a uh, silica spray sealant on a coating to help keep the properties going. Uh, to help make sure you get the maximum durability. So coatings are not this uh, magical force field that protects against fire, against uh, uh, scratches from key jobs or from heavy uh, scratches or swirls. That's not what they're made for. They're made to increase gloss, give you that slickness, give it the chemical resistance, the self-cleaning properties, so on and so forth. So the same applies in the case of PPF. Yes, they will protect your paintwork against swirls and scratches, but that doesn't make them um, like uh, protected against everything 
everything like a magical force field once again, right? And you still need to maintain the coating that you'd apply on top of PPF. So uh, a silica spray sealant is a great way to do so. And if you want to rejuvenate the coating, if it has yellowed, uh, if there's a bit of like grit or contamination, doesn't feel as smooth in there and you want to restore uh, the gloss, the clarity and that transparency as well, you're going to want to use a light polish like PPF Renew. And when you're done polishing the surface, you got to make sure you reprotect the surface once again with something like CanCoat Evo that works well on a PPF or your choice of uh, spray sealant if you want. Or again, uh, a, one of these three that I highly recommend on PPF. So Gion PPF Evo coating, the CarPro Skin Ceramic Coating, or G-Technic Halo coating that have been specifically developed uh, for PPF. And then it's just a question of enjoying to maintain the vehicle and yeah, basically, uh, if I can give it in a nutshell, whatever you use on paint, you can also use on PPF. Just be a bit more careful, especially if we're talking about chemical decon, right? With the tar removers, I, as I explained, you would use uh, spray this on a towel and address the affected areas by tar directly instead of spraying the entire vehicle and letting that dwell. You got to be a bit more careful. And with iron removers, you can use them just as you would on traditional clear coat or a ceramic coating. Spray on, let it dwell, rinse off. Just never work in direct sunlight, never in the heat. And also don't let it dry on the surface and you should be fine. So pretty much you can do everything you would with a traditional clear coated surface or a ceramic coated surface. Uh, just be very careful. Uh, also, the ones who ask, can I clay bar a clear coat? You got to be very careful. Perhaps use a clay towel that is less aggressive, uh, but not if you have a ceramic coating on top because you'll be damaging the coating. Don't forget, uh, clay material is a light abrasive. So technically it can mar the surface, add a bit of those light scratches and swirls. Hence why we usually follow up the clay stage with a machine polishing stage. So on a coated car, we try to avoid using clay because you could damage the coatings, but chemical decon, absolutely no problem. So we have a full suite of products here. I hope this was simple and easy to follow. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button. That always shows me your support. Uh, also, again, I'll leave the links to all the tools, equipment, and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Share this video with friends, family, anybody who has a PPF or paint protection film or who might be looking into getting that for their vehicle and are curious to know uh, how you maintain PPF. They can always benefit from watching videos like this. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight. Keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one.